Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I have a really fun unboxing, a bunch of new items from Wrong Wrong that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. And then I'm going to do a plan with me featuring some of these items. But I have sticker books, I have some pet tape, and yeah, that's that's, that's what I have in this box. Lots, lots of tape and then sticker books to go through. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to go through. So I'm going to go through first the tapes that I got. There's some really fun designs here. Okay, so here, actually, let me get this box out of the way. So here is the first one. Oh, this one's cute. It's the fall themed one. And these tapes are great because you can, they're basically like stickers and they're matte too, which is even better. Um, so yeah, you have a good amount of like stickers on the roll which is really nice. And then they'll repeat all well, so far. The repeat hasn't happened yet, um, but you get lots of really nice fall designs here. These are so cute. So you can make a spread very nicely, very easily with these. Okay, so those are the fall theme. That one's really, I love fall, so I'm excited for all the fall themes. So that one, that one's a really nice tape. Okay, next up we have, ooh, this looks like, like wilderness kind of camping vibes here. Oh, you got like cute little critters, some pies, owls. You got a really nice little scene there. Again, more of the fall theme on this one. So that one's really pretty. Okay. Next up, we have some fall pumpkins and leaves. And I like the different shapes. There's some like side pieces, some wreaths, um, and then little clusters. Okay, so good variety of the fall leaves and pumpkins. Next, ooh, these are cute. Okay, these are perfect for like little scenes. Um, spooky little windows here. Uh, houses. Oh, the tablescapes are cute. Spooky cute. Oh, that's fun too. So lots of like Halloween ones. Great, again, for making scenes, which I love making scenes. So there's a good variety in here to do that. Okay, so that one's a fun one. Okay, next up, more of the Halloween vibes on this one. We got some girls in some Halloween outfits here. It says never trust the living. Oh, I like that there's quotes mixed in with this one too. This is Halloween. That one's like Wednesday Adams vibes on that one. Some bats, love some bats. More of the haunted houses. Ooh, that's a cute like scene in the window. Okay, those are really nice too. Okay, then next up, ooh. These are nice, I like the black. There's like, um, like branches with pine cones. And then just like leaves, mushrooms. Oh, there's like a big spider, snakes. This is like good for like the spooky, spooky pretty vibes. You can do like these with some florals. Always love the spooky pretty floral vibe. It's always a good theme. All right, next up we have, this looks like crafty. Okay, so we've got some crafty girls here. This one's cute, it says, so awesome. You have a girl sewing, eat, sleep, knit, repeat. I can totally make that crafty. Let's get crafty. My girl with the sewing machine, all excited about sewing. Cute, 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 quilty lady. Knit happens. Okay, so yeah, that one's a really nice crafting roll. Okay, then next I have three more. Um, we have more fall florals and mushrooms on this one with this pretty like pink orange and purple tones okay so got some leaves or sorry florals on that one and then next oh this one's cute more of the fall theme hometown autumn trick or treat all the fall vibes i can't wait for all these like fall outfits to be back i love fall <laughs> Hello Autumn, Misty Mornings, Cozy Nights, Crunchy Leaves, and Pumpkin Spice. So cute. All right, so that one's really fun too. And then we have, oh, actually I have a little bit more than 
one more wall there's another one okay this one's cool this is a teacher line so since you know people are back at school. my mom's a teacher and she's a, she's been back to school already since last month but i know kids are starting to trickle back into school um so we have the teachers little stanley i actually have that stanley that's funny um and then you got all the teachers teach one impact many in my teacher era all the cute teachers oh i love that little like cart that's super cute the globes and all the little like scenes so cute all right so that's the teacher one and then i have two more that go with the theme of um one of the sticker books and it comes in this little box coffee queen too so you get two of these tapes in here I like that it comes in the box. The box is a really nice touch. Okay, so here is the Coffee Queen. So pretty. Loving all the outfits and the bags. The bags are really pretty. So cute. Yeah, super cute outfits. The purples and the blacks and all the pattern. That's fun. Okay, so that one is the first roll in this pack. And then we have this next one, which is more pink and red vibes. So you get two different kinds of themes for like first color schemes for this coffee theme. So you got the cute girls. Oh, that one's cute. They're drinking their coffee together. But yeah, this one's more pink and red tones. Ooh, that one would be cute for Christmas. So cute. So pretty. So yeah, if you like coffee, this is a good one to pick up too. Again, because you get like a lot on these rolls, so you can really do... A lot with this or you can also like share like parts of this i like to share these with my patrons um because there's just so much of it that way you can really get a lot out of those rolls okay so th that was all the pet tape that um came in this release again these will be uh, available today to purchase right now so definitely check out my link down in the description i think it's linked with a code automatic code so so yeah you can get a little bit off of your order Next, I'm going to go through the sticker books because there are quite a bit of sticker books here. Um, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five sticker books to flip through here. So I'm going to first start with Let's Get Crafty, which we've already seen the um, pet tape that goes with this. So I'm going to move my desk up so you can get a closer look at this really pretty sticker book. So we have Let's Get Crafty. And it is 24 pages. And if you're not familiar with Wrong Wrong, she does draw up all of these girls all this artwork to see like everybody's different creative way of making stickers so that's always fun to see in a book all right so here's the first page i love the buttons it's kind of like a little washi are these oh you can use these as bullet points that's perfect so we got crafting and my therapy we got boxes oh i love the little grid page and it actually looks like it's like from a spiral notebook because it's got like the little holes in there that's a cute little detail. Next page. Boxes. Good mix of plain boxes with a little bit. I like the pattern ones. Those are fun. She does a good job um, with putting a variety of boxes, which is nice. Quilty Lady. Real life is starting to interfere with my crafty timing. That is so true. Um, we got some decorative little scene boxes here. This one's really cute with the desk scene. Um, these look like the little like folders with the tabs That's fun. more buttons i love that i love this for bullet points so cute so there's a good variety there more of that grid paper and it looks like it's torn which is cute so the per first part of the book is going to be like more function and then i think towards the end she has more of the decorative stuff but you do get a mix of decorative and quotes in here which is nice Oh, I love circle stickers, so perfect. So craft, DIY, more of those buttons. Those are really pretty. Um, and then we have some clustered boxes here, which is really nice. You can just slap that down on a page and you're good to go, which I really appreciate. You got a couple more here. I really like this one a lot. Ooh, I love these kind of like strips of quotes. You got craftaholic, knit happens, so awesome. It's a whole page. Ooh, this one like the, the ruler. That's really cute. It's a whole page of those. More of like the washi kind of stickers here. So we got alphabet. Okay, now we're getting into more of the decorative stuff. And I really like in Wrong Wrong's books that even though the pat the page is patterned around the sticker where it's cut, it's white. So it's perfect. And her stickers are 
very they're not as like see-through as other sticker books so you don't really have to put like white out too much underneath them i don't know if that makes sense but that's something i've always noticed that they layer a little bit they they layer very nicely on the page so we have the crafty girls here and some more over here never underestimate a crafty woman so cute i love like the mannequins the dress forms my mom my mom um my family was like they were um like seamstress they used to make dresses we had like a bridal store my family owned one so very familiar with these this um i don't know how to sew though but my mom and my grandma really really good sewers um i love this little cluster here so pretty oh look at the little bracelets little friendship bracelets it's cute all right, so then we got more of the crafty stuff here, Mod Podge paint, more of the dress forms, sewing machines, some thread. Okay, we got mix with of um, girls with quotes. Crafting is my therapy. Real life is starting to interfere with, again. Real life is starting to interfere with my crafting time. So cute, so awesome. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. My boss always says that one. Um, and then we have some really pretty clusters here. I love like the mix of the florals with all the crafty supplies in them. Okay, so that is the Let's Get Crafty sticker book. That one is really, really pretty. Okay, let's do the teacher one next. So if you're a teacher, this would be a good one to pick up for your teacher spreads in my teacher, or even if you're not a teacher, you like, I feel like you can still use these. Like these are really fun pattern boxes. Yeah, the girl's cute. She's got an ACDC. Oh no, I thought it was an ACDC shirt. <laughs> it's an ABCD shirt. <laughs> um, teach one, impact many. Ooh, the florals are pretty. Yeah, I love these pattern boxes. Those are really nice. Okay, so this would be like the only thing, like one of the teacher specific type of stickers. So it's got to grade, to file, to copy. Um, parent meeting, class trip, class party, picture day, book fair, and then you got some homework, project, quiz, test type of stickers, headers over here. I love these little um, push pin stickers. Those are really cute. Bullet points. And I saw these little torn pieces are really cute too. The layer with boxes. Today I will make a difference. The outfits are super cute. I love that. Teacher, teacher, teacher. So cute big educator energy i love this like pattern down here that's really pretty so then we got clusters a little clipboard clustered on there again a little push pin and the florals those are really pretty okay the washi kind of stickers here alphabet stickers and then to the girls and the florals really really pretty so again you don't really have to be it's not it is teacher specific but there's only that one page that was really really teacher specific um so yeah i feel like anybody can use this book it's really really pretty so you got the girls like a little crafting kind of carts so pretty the stanley cup of course <laughs> coffee cups the little carts laptop live in the teacher life The florals are so pretty. Oh, and I like the little ladybug. That's cute. Inspire, make a difference. Difference maker in my teacher era, living the teacher life. Get your crayon. Get your crayon. Okay. Today I will make a difference. Just do your best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scary. All right. So that is the teacher sticker book. Another very pretty book. All right, and then let's get to the Coffee Queen, which so far, like, these have had matching. I think they all have matching. Yeah, they all have matching pet tapes. So if you're interested in one of these books, definitely check out the pet tapes, too, to see if you like those, too, to coordinate it with, it, with these books. because It'll give you, like, a little bit more decorative stuff to work with. Okay, so we have Coffee Queen. So we got the purple vibes over here. But first coffee oh and then here the bullet points are little donuts 
and like little coffee cups. That's really cute. I like that little touch. They're so cute. So we got, oh, I love that little scene. And we're watching Emily in Paris. I've never seen that show. That's cute. Okay, so yeah, I love the purple with the tan and browns. That's a really nice color combo. Ooh, these are really cute clusters with like the little washi strips. The florals, those are really pretty. So you got some of the purple ones and then we're getting into the pink vibe here. So here's the pink, pink, red, and green color scheme. This would be good for like, because I like doing Christmassy kind of spreads for all of Christmas, but if you're not into that, but you want to have like a little Christmassy vibe, but not super Christmas for, you know, December, this would be a cute theme to do because it kind of hits those, you know, Christmas color scheme, but it's puffy. I think that's, that's a pretty color scheme. Okay, happiness comes in coffee mugs. Yes, totally. <laughs> All right, here are the clusters for this section. And then we have the alphabet. And now we're going into the girls with the purple, black, and brown theme here. Très chic. Very, very pretty. And then the quotes, coffee queen. All things are possible with coffee and a cute outfit. Then we have some coffee shops in the purple theme. Now into the pink theme, espresso yourself. So pretty. Everyone deserves a love and coffee. Any friend of coffee is a friend of mine. And then you have the pink coffee buildings. Oh, and then a bunch of mugs with different sayings. Do not disturb, choose happy, get it done, rise and shine. It's like a little quote. one onto the page. So this one was 24 pages as well. This one doesn't say how many, but I don't know if it's, I can't remember if it was 24. I didn't count the pages, but so far they're all like 24. So that's the Coffee Queen 2 sticker book. Okay, next up is in Autumn. So here's the first seasonal book, Autumn Charm. And some of these um, probably will have matching, like the themes will have matching pet tapes as well. So pumpkin spice season. I like the girl holding the leaf in front of her face. Where you lead, I will follow. This girl's at the pumpkin patch. Cozy to-do list. And they get bullet points here. Loving the patterns, the plaid patterns. Little wreaths, trick or treats. And I love the colors. They're just so good. The colors are so good. Okay, then we have the clusters here. And then the washi strips. This is a whole sticker page right here um, that you can like rip and just cut out things. And yeah, those are fun to use. Get to be creative with those. All right, we're going into the clear sticker part of the book. All right, so we got Kim's Antiques and a hardware store and Stars Hollow. Hap oh, Halloween section here. A little cute little kitty cat and the pumpkin. There's a little doggy in the back of that or in the cab, <laughs> in the truck. Um, coffee, iced coffee. I'm an iced coffee all season, but I live in California. I live in San Diego, so it doesn't get too cold here. Although some people think it does. But it doesn't it doesn't not to me at least all right and then we have a bunch of fall themed stuff here autumn carries more gold in its hand than all other seasons i'd rather be in stars hollow i think that oh yeah okay i had a feeling it was like gilmore girls themed i never watched that show um, I just couldn't stand the way that they talked in it. It was not my, I never seen it. So, uh, but I had a feeling it was like leaning towards there. Cause I, I've seen a bunch of like reels and things about it. So I kind of have an idea of it, but yeah, it's definitely, if you like Gilmore girls, this is a lot of references. I think from that show in here. Yeah. That's probably what all this stuff is. Okay. Oh, I love these like little scene. They look like pictures. 
and I love that like a little Polaroid type of element in your spread that's always fun and we have the cute little critters here adorable and then more of the fall stuff Great. all right so that is autumn charm and I have one more book probably one of my favorite themes I always love doing Halloween spreads so I'm excited for Halloween I'll probably on October I'm gonna be doing um Halloween spreads every week just because I love that I love it so much love making some Halloween spreads and thankfully like everybody's coming out with great Halloween books so I'm sure one of these this will definitely be on my in my planner for one of the weeks all right so we got all the spooky girls here and houses like spooky houses so cute I love all the bats and mind you like in real life I don't like this stuff like I don't like bats I don't like spiders I don't like any of that kind of stuff in real life but in my planner love it in decor love it uh, I love the lace kind of design over here is that lace or is it more damask I think it's more damask <laughs> it's hard to tell um but yeah pretty like nice patterns in the boxes in my spooky era more bats I love the, like the frames the spooky looking frames this is Halloween never trust the living every day is Halloween Ooh, that's a really cool box too we got the black cats love a kitty cat and a spread okay then we got the the they're not boxes the frames that are clustered together and then washi strips some spooky letters and then we have the girls every day is halloween isn't it oh that one's pretty we got a spooky looking fence and you got the girls it's like edward scissor hands Cute, cute, cute. Beetlejuice. And then, oh, I forgot her name. But the girl in Beetlejuice. <laughs> that one. Cute little, or cute spooky pumpkins. And then some haunted houses. Ooh, that one's cool. I like that one. Okay. Some clocks. <laughs> the ghost is cute. That goes actually is cute. This is Halloween. I myself am strange and unusual. Live, laugh, scream till death do us part. Happy haunting, ain't drink and be scary. Spooky season. And then we have some houses. So these would be great for a very spooky um, Halloween scene spread. Definitely have to keep that one in mind when I'm ready to do my Halloween spreads. All right, so that is creepy Halloween creepy hollow um and that is all the, those that's all the books so the books and then the pet tape now what i'm gonna do um oh if you're interested in purchasing this i'm just remind, a little another little reminder uh i have wrong wrongs my affiliate link for wrong wrong down in the description definitely check out the site if you're interested in purchasing any of these books and if you use my code i really really appreciate it thank you thank or my affiliate link for now though, I'm going to just do a spread. I kind of want to use the teacher one because, you know, I'm not a teacher. I used to be an aide. I used to work at the school, but that was a long time ago. Mom's a teacher. But I feel like this book, even though I'm not a teacher, it would still make for a cute, like pretty spread because the, the girls are really pretty and they have cute little outfits on. And I love the florals, like the florals are really cute. So yeah, I think I can make a nice, fun spread with this book. So I'm going to use this one. I think there was, is there a pet tape? Yeah, there was. There was this pet tape too, which is nice because it coordinates with this one. And I think this would be a nice one to use. So I'm gonna just make a spread with this sticker book next. I figured this would be a good theme to use since kids are going back to school, like that's all happening again. Um, so yeah, I'll just do this and it's a really pretty book. So I have some vertical pages because I always, find for myself I love decorating vertical pages and if you are on my patreon I think oh I can't remember mm. some of the tiers they get like happy mail and I usually will send out 
like spreads to my patrons like these these I call these like mock spreads because I'm just doing them I'm just making a spread for a video like right now just to you know give ideas um, but I don't plan on using it but I like to at least you know give it to somebody so it gets used so that's what this spread will end up being for somebody um, to use and they can redate it uh, it's not dated actually but they can date it and use it Okay, so I really love this, like, this color scheme, like, the little um, rays of, like, sunshine. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, but they remind me of, like, rays of sunshine. So I'm just using those, and then I want to use, she, ha she has a great variety of um, boxes in here, which is nice. Ooh, I think I want to do, I really like that one. I think I want to do this one. Like, this is a nice cluster one, and then it brings that same pattern over here on this side, which I like to do that too, make sure I have like the patterns. If I have one on one side, I wanna make sure I get it on the other. That makes it a little bit more cohesive. And then I wanna grab this florally piece. Oh, yeah, that's all it's um, And then I can maybe add it to the bottom over here, because I really like the florals. Ooh, I have these fun like, polka dots. I'm gonna add some of this. So let's add some here. I need my scissors. Okay, scissors. And then I have another piece, thankfully, that I can use on this side. I kinda wanna go under this, I always forget. Actually, no, because it's I didn't really align it that well. So let me put it here. Okay, I realized I was like really to the left. <laughs> so let me move that over. All right, so let me... Oh, I got the girls. Okay, definitely adding girls. So let's put a girl... I really like this one because I love the shirt. I always look at the clothes to see like if they will work with a spread. It's like what I how I figure that out. So I'm gonna put her here. I think that's pretty. And then I really want to put one of these carts. Ooh, actually, maybe this little scene here. Okay, definitely need more floils too. Okay, let me let me add some more clothes. I think I want to grab like this one right here. Would be good. Some tweezers. Oh, and I definitely have to add that one. Okay. I don't want to put too many florals, but a little bit will go a long way. I feel. So let's put this one here. Okay. And I'll figure out where I'll put that one in a bit. But I want to get another girl on this side of the page, so I need to figure that out. And maybe I'll do some boxes. Let's see which ones. Oh, there's more of that washi, so that's good. Um, I really like, that's cute. I think I want to do a pink box. Do it this way because it's a little different than the other one on this side and then let me grab another box like a smaller one maybe okay, like one of these would be good do i want pattern i kind of want to add some of these like black elements We'll see. I haven't decided yet, as you can see. Um, oh, and also the floral. Let me grab this before I forget it, because I really want to add this. I just have to figure out a way to do that. Okay, now where am I going to put a girl, though? <laughs> Let me see which girls I have to add. Oh, and you know what? I still have all these girls too. So let's see which girls I have here. Mm. 
Oh, and these quotes are nice. I wonder, are these quotes in here? Let me see. Let me see. Sorry, I'm like going off on different tangents. So this one says, teacher, teaching is a work of art. And I don't think I saw that quote in here. So that's good to know that like you're not getting exact duplicates if you buy the pet tape. Like you are kind of getting some other items, which is nice. Like I have make a difference, but I don't have this. Teaching is a work of heart. No, I don't. Okay, so that's nice to see that. Um, I'm trying to think so. What do I want to do? I do want one of these little guys. Actually, let me do this one. I think the proportions of this one will be better. Let's add this over here. Let's just add it there, like a little cluster. I know it's a little like jumbled, but I think that works. Mm. No, maybe it is a little, maybe it is a little much. It's kind of covering up. Mm. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to live with it. No, I won't. Mm. I'm gonna put something here anyway, so I'm just gonna remove it, even though it's not liking my page very much. Maybe I could put it here. No. Okay. I haven't decided where I want to put that. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Unless I put this girl here. Actually, this girl kind of looks cute here. Because I like that even though she's cut off, like, it kind of layers nicely on top of here. And what I was mentioning earlier about these stickers, like, when you layer them, like, I like the way that they layer. This will show what I mean when I do that. Because I'm layering it over these boxes, but you're not gonna see the the lines through the box, through the through the girl, which is nice. And that's why I think they layer. Like I love the way they layer on top. Like, yeah, you don't see that box going through her, which is an annoying thing, and I don't like that. So I like that they layer that way. Happy with that. I might have to put a quote next to her though, because I don't like the ripped page that I did there. So I need to fix that. Okay, so I have that's too big. I have this. Make a difference. Can I get it off? I don't know. And it's nice again that there are like more of these quotes around the page around on the pet tape, so you don't use them all just in one spread. Oh geez, I cannot lay this down straight. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Make a difference. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go with. Sounds good to me. Um, but I do, do I want to keep another girl? Maybe one more girl, but where to put her? I think another girl. Unless I put her like over here. That one's cute. Just like teach. Yeah, those are too big. Too big. I'm putting black boxes down, so now I need black over here. I'll just put it there. Kind of there, but out of the way there. Um, I really like the little pins, so let's add one here. Kind of mimicking that, because I like that little touch. Okay, I need another girl. Oh, maybe I can do, okay, I already used that girl. I could do this girl, the A, B, C, D shirt. Mm, not my favorite. 
for it, but I'm going to go with it, I guess. I really like these little, maybe not this one. Maybe I'll do the polka dot one. Sorry, I'm just like all over the place. And then I can do a box layered with it, maybe. And I'm gonna throw some of these boxes down. The box is always nice to have on the spread. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna just throw in some bullet points. Okay, I'm gonna do the blue because I put blue on this side, so I'm gonna get blue on this side too. So a couple bullet points here. Um, and then I'll do like some yellow ones because I need yellow on this side over here. And then I need something over here. Let's do this like orangey. Actually, I want to put the orange because I have orange over here. So I'm going to put orange here. And then I can do do green here, a little layering. Ah. Okay, I think that's pretty. It's a lot of fun colors. Then maybe I can do one of these. something here. There aren't any checklists in this book. Not now that I've noticed. That's okay. Oh, you know, I could do more florals too. All right, so let's do oh, her arms in the way and I don't want to like cover it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I could put like a quote with her maybe. Oh, this one's cute. Living that teacher life. Since she's got the teacher, 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 teacher shirt on. <laughs> you can throw a living that teacher life next to her, maybe. Ah. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. It actually went down. It went down not exactly how I wanted to, but that's fine. Just, like, attached to the um, um, page. All right. You know, I like this of crayons but I think it's too big so let me look over here and see what I have, do I have crayons in here oh, I do okay cool. so I'm gonna grab this smaller little thing of crayons and I want to put it over here just kind of hanging out in that section and I feel like I should add another like teachery kind of element so let me look through the through this again Let's see, because I want something maybe here, a little bit here. So, and I guess I could do like the post-its. Oh, the markers are cute. I wish we had like these kind of colors. These are pretty. Actually, you know, I'm going to do the stapler. The stapler is cute. And that'll sit nicely on top of the box. Come on. Little stapler there. And maybe I can do... The expo markers. I'm gonna do two. Okay. Kinda I wanna layer them a little bit. Oops. I'll just stick them here. Okay, I like that. And then maybe I think 
think that's good. I think I just want to add maybe one more floral element. Just a little bit. Oh, one thing about these stickers, though, you got to be careful because they do rip easily when you're taking them off the page. I've been guilty of doing that a few times. Okay, so I'm just going to put florals here and we're going to call it a day. Pretty. Okay, so that is my spread. I think it turned out really nice. Um, so yeah. That is gonna be my spread, and that is that is it for this video. Again, if you're interested in purchasing these items, they are available today right now to purchase all of the sticker books. Of course, don't forget about all this lovely cut tape. As you can see, it does come in handy to to go through these, and you have tons of options on these on these rolls, which is amazing. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. Check out Wrong Wrong's website today uh, for all of these fun goodies there's also other items on there too that you'd want to check out as well i have my affiliate link linked down in the description which has an automatic code if you use it um, but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one